finally, prophetic knowing. Ah, Romans 8, 16. Get it. Prophetic knowing. Psalm 46, verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am the Lord. According to like this, Cisate. Cisate. Be still. Be still and know that I am the Lord. In this prophetic knowing, this is where it is known as the inward witness. This is where the word of knowledge, word of wisdom belongs. Prophetic knowing. You don't see, you don't hear, but we just know. Romans 8 verse 16. The inward witness. Read for us. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Mm -hmm. Continue. No. Testifies. According to Gingena, he bears witness with our spirit. Where is the Spirit of God? In. In us. Just like 1 John 2, 27 says, the anointing in you teaches you. It may helps you to know. It's inside. So it is called prophetic knowing. This is the third dimension of the prophetic. In 2 Kings chapter 6, let's uh, round off. 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 8 to 12, the king of Aram will plan attack on Israel. Elisha, Elisha will reveal it. He did not go there. At this time, he said, who is the saboteur? They said, it has a prophet in Israel. Even what you do in your bedroom. He knows. Prophetic knowing. It's a spiritual gift. A spiritual weapon. That will help us in this end time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even what you do. Let's open to that second Kings. Let's look at chapter 2. Okay, go to cha chap uh, chapter 2 verse 5. Okay. Second then chapter 5 verse 25. Mm -hmm. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elijah and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know. Him. It's okay. Chapter 5 from verse 25. Even the company of prophets, all of them, so you see that the, the prophetic was like no Martin for them that time. Not only Elisha knew, even the prophet, the seminarians, the seminarians they all knew that Elijah, Elijah, Elijah was going to go. How come we don't even know what is happening around us? Chapter 5 from verse 25 to 27. Then he went in and stood before his master Elisha. Where have you been, Gehazi? Elisha asked. Your servant didn't go anywhere, oh. Gehazi answered. When Elisha said to him, Was not my spirit with you when the man got down from the chariot? It's okay, it's okay. We know the story. So, I didn't get you. Elisha said, My spirit was there. He, so he knew what everything that happened. He was in his house, but he knew everything that happened. Prophetic knowledge. Mark chapter 2, verses 6 to 8. Jesus will be preaching. They will be murmuring in their hearts. Who is this that can forgive sins? Is it only God? He will not tell them. Why are you saving saying so and so things in your mind? That's why somebody can come to you for counseling and be telling you A. Why is he supposed to tell you B? By the prophetic knowing, you will know that he's not telling you the truth. You see that this is a weapon. Praise God. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 17 to 19. Go and call your husband. Say, I don't have a husband. You say, yes. You say, you say it true. Because I've had five. And the one you are living with now is not your husband. Huh? That broke the, this, the barrier. Then you must be a prophet. <laughs> you understand? Jesus knew it. And so on. John 16 verse 30. The same thing. Matthew 26, 21. He said, you don't know. Nah, nah, you, you know everything. You don't need anybody to explain to you. Prophetic knowing. It's very, very important. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Acts of the Apostle chapter 5, we talked about it. Verses 1 to 10. Ananias and Sabira. Mm. Peter was not with them in the house when they agreed. He was, oh, you conspire with your husband. Because he knew. The spirit in him revealed it to him. And that's how he was able to judge the situation. You cannot judge what you don't know. Praise God. Matthew, uh, Acts 27, 22, we have seen it. Paul said nobody will die because he has been, I've been told what will happen. Luke chapter 2, verse 25 to 30. Simeon knew that he would not die until something happens. That means whether it's Boko Haram or 
If you like throw 20 bombs where he is, he will not die. Why? The only thing I told him, you will not die until you see the Messiah. So there are people that know when they will die. If you tell them I will kill you, they will just laugh at you. Then this man became old that he want to even die, but he knew it. even if he green poison he cannot die. Until the day he saw you say, Ah, oh, uh, I can now oh God. So I can now go and rest because I have seen the salvation. I can now go and rest. He wants to go and rest, but he, he has been revealed to him, you will not die until you see the Messiah. The revelation is keeping. The revelation what is what is keeping. So there's a, a revelation you carry that no no Boko Haram, no Ahmad, no bomb can kill you. You will preserve your life. The prophetic is very wonderful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the three prophetic dimensions is the prophetic seeing, prophetic hearing, and prophetic knowing. Remember when we went for family prayer? That the Lord said we should go with cutting board. Okay. What, 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 what do you want to ask us on cutting board? With family prayer. Now we need cutting board. Until in the course of the this we now know why we should use cotton. We should, cotton board is needed. That's prophetic knowing. They started cleaning their ears. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, in conclusion, to provoke the prophetic, a lot of things, meditation, speaking in tongues, praises, faith, fellowship, like association, expectation of waiting on the Lord, these are the things that pro provoke the gift. But first is understanding it, then we we'll begin to expect it, and we see it to begin to manifest on a greater dimension. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.